Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing coming? Coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. He might try and ignore it. Always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. no going back. You can't do it. Fenua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Yes. Come on, closer. She can't focus. Why Do not forget focus? my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. 
Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she tell me that? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. His soul still lives. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. If you focus. is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It worked. Thank you. It's safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell. 
but I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him.
did. Don't. You did this. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now at least she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not real. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to chance. Val Raven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it.
What's that? It's a door. No, it's in the way. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. Do you think we'll have them? Come on. Come on. She pushed it. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. again and pretend what we saw was never really there. comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. It's all different.
the same, but it feels different. An imposter world. I know the forest itself. Not the gate. Let's watch. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. I have to open it. It's not safe. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. to make it back. Fear, and we think. 
think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri, in shape. He was like a man, big and powerful. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones? head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. 
But she, she thought, thought she thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her painful. Truth helped her. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. Broke the gate is open. She resolved to fight on and kill. There is no such a gentle part part of her when it comes to the darkness. She is at her weakest. Will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinua. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together.
Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Drew was born. Drew, the man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Drew, I've found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Is open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. far into the void that may be this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Help Senua. Me. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, 
You will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus! 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 I see you! I see you now! You led me to the wilds! You trapped me there!
beat you in the wilds, did I? It was an illusion. But not this time! The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helha. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. 